Today, I want to share the NGSS appendices, and there are two appendices that are great to bookmark and go back and refer to all the time. So just as a quick reminder, NGSS and our seed standards are both based on the same document, which is why we can pull a lot of resources from NGSS and use them with our standards, even though some of our standards are not identical to NGSS. So to get to the appendices, I just Google NGSS appendix and it comes up. The two that I would suggest bookmarking and pulling out to refer to when you are building rubrics or working with your team to develop curriculum or um, writing assessments for students are uh, Appendix F, the Science and Engineering Practices, and Appendix G, the Cross-Cutting Concepts. So both of these appendices have similar information for their particular um, topic. So this is the one for science, the science and engineering practices. So remember, these are the things that students should be doing in our classes. So the front page, we have a list of the practices. Um, and then there's some information, but you can skip down. And there is a section on each practice that outlines the practice. So there's some general information there. And this can be really helpful for, especially for practices that might be newer. So some of these practices were not really, didn't really show up in our, in our old standards. So they might be a little bit new. So if there's a practice that you're not quite sure what it's really getting at, this general information can be really helpful. And then each practice has a progression matrix. So you can see what students should be doing for the practice in each grade band. So you can kind of look at your grade band, see what they should have been doing previously. That might be a place where you can go to help students get caught up if they're not quite where they should be. And you can look ahead if you're in middle school, see what they're supposed to be doing in high school so that we can pr prepare our students to be ready for high school. And then the next appendix, Appendix G is similar, only it's for the cross-cutting concepts. So as a quick reminder, those are the lenses that we use to view scientific problems and think scientifically about things. So again, front page has a list of all of the cross-cutting concepts, and then there's some general information, and we can um, skip down to the section. So there's a section on each one. So patterns is the first one that they have here. There's some general information about patterns, and then again, there's a progression matrix that just shows in each grade band, what is it that students should be doing? How should they be using patterns? Um, so like I say, these are two great resources to just have bookmarked. And then when you are working on developing curriculum or writing rubrics or uh, developing assessments, that you can go and look to see uh, what students should be doing for each of the cross-cutting concepts and the practices.